Uh, we have about uh, seven to ten minutes for questions. Uh, I'd like to um, use the, the prerogative of the chair, if I could, and, and ask the first one. And I, I, always, I always like to, uh, to ask this question, um, particularly when one of, our, one of the leaders of Southeast Asia has met the President of the United States. And if, if you don't want to share, you can, can let us know. But I wonder, if, if, could you give us the tone and, and tenor of uh, how, how your meeting went with the President Obama and um, what that might augur for future cooperation on a sort of a leader to leader and man to man basis. Thank you. I think I can start by, 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 by saying, um, I do not know whether it is out of line, but the very fact that you can have a bit of the President's time by itself when a summit of that magnitude is going on with 47 world leaders means something. It means you're important enough uh, and Malaysia is important enough for the president to set aside that time to have a bilateral with you. I think that speaks for itself um, that the president himself is uh, very keen to re-engage with Malaysia. and. Um, the president was very warm, of course. The, uh, the message is that um, this new uh, re-engagement, redefining the bilateral relationship, is very well received by the current administration. And uh, the president looks forward to a very uh, productive and meaningful relationship uh, in so many areas, um, security, um, it's been recognized that we are playing our part as a responsible uh, global community. Um, the president was keen uh, to know a bit about the new economic model, so he was very well briefed. And uh, the president is also uh, keen in a wider context of uh, ASEAN that uh, United States uh, continue to be engaged and, in fact, uh, to look upon ways and means of enhancing a process of engagement uh, and that uh, the president would also seize Malaysia basically, uh, although predominantly a Muslim country, but a Muslim country that has been recognized as a progressive, uh, moderate and uh, consonant with modernity and respect for the rights of other religions. So I think in a nutshell, um, he sees a lot of positives that can uh, be derived from this process of re-engagement. And I'm confident that we can move forward to a more exciting uh, period in terms of our bilateral ties. Thank you. Let me invite Thank you. Excellency, I'm Eugene Martin with Asia Pacific Strategies. A uh, question I'd like to follow up on your comment about education. And uh, I'd like to ask w with CSIS and ISIS, uh, new cooperative agreement, is there a role for greater U.S. Malaysian educational exchanges, educational cooperation? Malaysia, of course, has sent many students to the U.S. over the years. In fact, at one point, I think you had the largest number of foreign students in the United States. The question is whether or not there are ways that Malaysia, as you said in your closing remarks, Malaysia is a moderate Muslim country which has a lot to offer. And I'm wondering whether or not more Malaysian students to the U.S. and vice versa could help break down some of the under misunderstandings between our cultures. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the U.S. Is, uh, will continue to be an important source in terms of uh, fulfilling uh, our needs um, uh, to find places, particularly at the higher education level. Um, there is a shift, there's a paradigm shift. Um, traditionally, we've been looking at the U.K., but now I find more and more, if there is a choice, uh, even at the, at the undergraduate level, Malaysians are looking at the United States. And my own children are here. 
at the undergraduate level because when they were presented with a choice, I mean, traditionally it was the UK first degree and United States postgraduate, but they said, no, we want to do undergraduate here. Uh, and, and I think that's uh, a growing recognition that you have some of the finest uh, education institutions uh, in the world here, United States, although the, the variation can be quite uh, wide here. But, you know, you have some of the best in the world, and, and that's where we want to send Malaysians to, you know, the, the, the Ivy League uh, universities will continue to have their share of Malaysians. At the same time, we would like to establish collaborative arrangements with uh, your education institutions to set up um, their um, campuses, even their campuses in Malaysia. Uh, I'd like to see that happening. Uh, we've got uh, British universities, Australian universities, but we've yet to have a, an American university, uh, the campus of American in Malaysia. I hope that will happen uh, in the near future, and I think that would be a, a tremendous uh, uh, what you call a uh, step forward uh, in terms of uh, uh, us collaborating uh, in the field of education and training. And I see lifelong uh, education as an important part of our new economic model uh, and education will continue to be the central part of our strategy. One more, uh, Param. Mr. Prime Minister Paramiswaran from Ajahn Sran's Press, uh, could you please share with us your thoughts on the evolving uh, East Asian security architecture, uh, especially following the intense debate uh, at the ASEAN summit recently, where United States, where the, where the possibility of the United States and Russia being included in the East Asian summit was raised and debated? Thank you. Thank you. You're quite up to date in your knowledge. Yes, it was certainly uh, uh, debated. Uh, we've not come to any uh, specific decision, except that uh, we want to enhance the engagement with the United States. The only thing is its modality. We've got to think of the most appropriate modality. There's some options. Uh, you know, the uh, ASEAN plus six can be expanded to ASEAN plus uh, eight, or it can be part and parcel of the uh, East Asia process, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we do need to debate and and think through this. We have directed uh, the uh, our officials to look deeper into this, and probably will take will take a position uh, in October when when we reconvene in Hanoi. Uh, we have to bear in mind also the 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 the, the president's time, how much time the president has to attend uh, you know, such processes. It's important to get the president himself to be part of that. And uh, we have to, to look at the logistical part as well. So it's very much uh, work in progress, but by October we'll, uh, we'll make, a, probably we'll make a firm decision. Okay, uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen. And I hope you will join me in thanking Prime Minister Najib and welcoming him and his uh, delegation to Washington. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.